Hello and welcome to this special Christmas paint and learn video. Now I know this time of year is a little bit manic and everyone is rushed off their feet with last minute presents to buy, food to prepare and children full of sweets and excitement being fit to burst. But there's going to be no long preamble to this video. Only to say, sit back and give yourself a wee Christmas break. Enjoy 10 minutes of speed painting and a little bit of art history and fun facts as I reimagine and splice together Norman Rockwell's Christmas trio painting with the huge Christmas hit movie Home Alone as our good friends Kevin McAllister, Gus Belinsky, and the gentle but scary old neighbour, Old Man Marley, take centre stage. So let's don our Kenosha Kickers jackets, slip on some sweet, sweet polka, and let's get to work. Okay, so as you can see, we've got Art Rage Vitae open here, and I've already sketched out the Home Alone, Norman Rockwell kind of mashup, if you will, uh, because I thought it's a quick video, it's a kind of speed painting one, and we don't want to be sat around watching me try and sketch something out for ages because it did take quite a while, especially on the John Candy, Gus Polinsky character. Um, trying to get a good reference photo of him was a nightmare, so I had to kind of splice together a couple of images of him from different scenes, uh, different bits, one of them on the back of the van and one of them in the airport bit. Um, so yeah, so I sketched it out and placed it into Art Rage and did my old trick which you've seen on other videos on my previous videos where I've overlaid a pencil drawing at 50% opacity on the top and I'm painting in between and we're just going to be blocking in um, and this was a fun idea this one just to make a, a kind of Christmas card a couple of people in previous videos actually quite a lot of comments actually was was asking for a Norman Rockwell video so I thought why not let's it's Christmas and um, when I think of Christmas and I think of imagery Norman Rockwell's right up there as an artist I would think of and of course Home Alone who you know it's a staple for all families to watch at Christmas it I know it is in our family so I thought it would be a fun one to kind of piece together and um, so as you can see I'm just blocking in the kind of shapes and colour it's it's not as much trying to be dead dead like Norman Rockwell's style it's it's trying to be close trying to match it and um, in studying some of his work for this and looking through one of my Norman Rockwell books I was actually amazed when you zoom in on some of the details of actually how loose Norman Rockwell's paintings were it's when you stand back for them and then or they're imprinted on the magazine that they kind of start to make sense but I was quite surprised you'll see it flash up the picture of the waiter that I was using as a reference it's very chunkly painted and very loose and uh, there you go you can see his face there it's thickly impasto paint and um, now I know Norman Rockwell painted these magazine covers on a huge scale and um, knowing that when they got sized down for the magazine all that kind of detail would be in there but it would be kind of merged together in the eye and so it would create this kind of really hyper realism that uh, was kind of became synonymous with his work so in order to try and achieve that kind of painterly look, I've loaded the brush up reasonably heavily, not too much. I still wanted it to kind of fade as I drag the brush across the canvas. Um, on Art Rage, it gives you so many options with the oils to either load it with thinners or make it really thick. Um, but you know, as you'll see a little bit later on, I felt it needed a little bit more texture, particularly on like John Candy's jacket and on um, the old man with the violin on, on his kind of dark bits of his jacket um, and so you can load up the brushes and put a layer underneath it to create that kind of texture coming through without losing the details that you've got on top because it's quite hard to paint in Art Rage when, with a really chunky paintbrush to kind of get loads of details it's fantastic if you're doing kind of a la prima really loose painting work but for something like this where you're trying to capture capture the the detail that Rockwell achieved and also these are figures and faces that we know. We know Macaulay Culkin's face, we know John Candy's. Um, you know, to try and get that kind of level of realism on a small scale for a kind of card, uh, it's better to keep the brush slightly drier. Okay, so as you know on my videos, I like to um, part a little bit of knowledge of, of art history on there and um, it's a, a love of my life it's what I did my degree in and also you know these silly videos of me doing mashups they're not all I'm not always going to do them like this um, but if it's a way of kind of teaching someone or exposing an artist to someone who might not have known it before then I feel I'm doing my job as well it's not just about the learning the process and um, I like to kind of spread the art history love a little bit and hopefully someone watching this might not have known Norman Rockwell and uh, you know it might become their favorite artist or they might want to check it out more or you've not seen Home Alone and you go actually that looks quite cool to me as well so 
Uh, when I was coming up with this idea um, for this video, where well, you kind of think about what Christmas means to you and the imagery around, and quite often it's things you've seen when you're young because it's such a special time when you're when you're young. But the, the I, as I was thinking about it, there's there's a few artists that kind of stand out, but Norman Rockwell is definitely one of them, the leading ones. I mean, the idea of a Norman Rockwell Christmas, it's it's been cemented into American culture and American holidays with Christmas being particularly kind of high up there um, and it's played a played a central role Christmas played a central role in Rockwell's career and um, which resulted in you know much of his imagery and iconography that remains central to the kind of the way people perceive the holiday season particularly in America to this day and um, his paintings evoke a sense of nostalgia um, and fun and whimsy which resonates with viewers to this day and um, he often depicted a slightly idealized quaint view of American life and of December and Christmas and um, the comfort and abundance characterized by the idealism and materialism present in his work has become for many the default way that we think about Christmas and I know I remember seeing his paintings and his his um, magazine covers when I was a child and thought that's what Christmas means those greens those reds that kind of slightly cartoonish but realistic kind of caricatured of people and I just thought wow that, you know I want all my Christmases to look like that that's amazing um, but the thing is and the reason why this mashup kind of popped into my head the same can also be said about the Home Alone movie which has become a family favorite and its viewing at this time of year has become as much a Christmas tradition and ritual um, as I think you know Rockwell regarded Christmas himself um, it's an idealized yet flawed family again um, much like a lot of the imagery in Rockwell's paintings um, and that family resonates with the audiences um, they, everyone ha who's watching it has something they can relate to every kid wants to be Kevin taking control of the house eating junk food setting up his booby traps I was obsessed with this when I saw it when I was I don't know 91 it came out I was 10 ish um, the chaos of the family settings, you know, as the family are getting ready to leave, the dad's got, has he got the tickets, the mums, the, the, the dynamics of the, the tight uncle who doesn't want to spend any money on the pizzas. I mean, that rings true with families and the adults watching it, they can, re you know, resonate with that. But overall, it's just the warm feeling of Christmas bringing people together and unlikely heroes like Gus Polinski saving the day with the mum, getting, getting him back, getting her back on the, on the, on the minibus and the old man with the, with the daughter relationship in the church and kind of resolution of previous fights and problems. I mean, that's what Christmas really means to people, isn't it? It's bringing people together and it, that still endures to this day. And, you know, the message still rings true from Rockwell's time all the way through to now. Um, it, you know, like Rockwell's work, it depicts a feeling that we strive for at the holidays. Um, but hopefully with fewer children left behind and no wet bandits robbing, robbing their houses. Um, so it's, you know, it's no surprise really when I was researching uh, a little bit of both of these things that um, Home Alone, the set director um, on Home Alone, a lady called Eve uh, Corley, Basically, when she was choosing the colours for the house in the McAllister's house and a lot of the imagery through it, she basically referred to, you know, the, the core of Americana and she said that was Norman Rockwell. The idea of Christmas, the colours he used. So a lot of that was put through into the movie. So there is links between the two of them, I think, uh, are very important. And so this is why I chose to paint uh, a, quite a slightly earlier the, um, Rockwell work. It's from 1923 and it's called Christmas Trio. Um, and it was one of his Dickensian series of paintings for the Saturday Evening Post. Um, he, well, as I subsequently learned, I didn't realize this. I knew he'd done quite a lot of Dickensian paintings uh, in that style, but I didn't realize quite how obsessed um, Rockwell was with it. Um, it was his parents who first saw him drawing the picture, I think of Scrooge, when he was a child that, that kind of compelled them to send him to art school because they thought that's rather good and um, and it's kind of something that stuck with him and when he landed these jobs at the magazines he uh, he knew the um, manager at one of the magazines was a big Dickens fan so pitched the idea of doing a series of magazine covers based on the kind of Dickensian story and um, and they became a, an instant hit um, in his classic kind of caricatured way with his colors but you know again Dickens is as much about Christmas as, uh, you know, when you think about Charles Dickens, you think about A Christmas Carol, 
and it was kind of the same sentiment runs through. So it's um, it the idea for this kind of was just ticking all the boxes for me for Christmas, and I really wanted to make a little card for the family that kind of represented all this. So as we're approaching the final kind of stages of this painting and kind of card that I'm making, um, I, I will do a future, another video on Rockwell and go into a little bit more detail. I feel he's an artist who deserves a longer form video because there's so much, so much cool stuff and um, things to talk about, like his use of what possible potential use of optics or some kind of projector to, to, to trace, if you will, his characters or his use of uh, getting a photographer to mock up intrinsically detailed scenes of his what he envisaged for each um, painting right down to costumes and things like that so there's a lot to talk about and a lot to kind of go back on but I just wanted to keep this one quick keep it short so you can sit down with a cup of tea and a, maybe a piece of cake and um, and just enjoy it and just um, get into the Christmas mood a little bit So there's the final painting. As you can see, there's a little bit of texture underneath there. And hopefully I've captured a little bit of the spirit of Rockwell and, um, and a little bit of the spirit of Home Alone too. So, you know, stay filthy, you animals. No, that's wrong, isn't it? <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animals and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yes, thank you for your support. Uh, please do like and subscribe. Um, the support over this last month, really, since I've restarted this channel has been overwhelming um, so I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, stay safe um, and yeah be good to each other and I'll see you in the new year with some new tutorials coming along soon. Many thanks, chat soon Polka 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 <laughs>